Hello YouTubes. Today we are seeing the side dump semi-trailer in front of us. We made this trailer for China domestic market. It uh, has been designed to tail to the left and right when you need it. But you can only tail to the one side at uh, one time. In the front, it is always the same. We have the air, air coupler here. This is AB, ABS light. This is an ABS uh, connector. This is an electricity connector. The different, you can see the frame. We have a subframe at the bottom of the body. This is a typical design for the dump trailer. Even it's a side dump trailer. This side dump trailer is designed by the multi-purpose. So the bulk head, the front wall here, is pretty high. So when they need it, they can just change the, the design and do their job. We use uh, the detachable design to easier the transportation. And here is the reflector. This is indicator light in the both sides. We have a four post. We can move the bulkhead when we need it. And we use the channel steel instead of the tubes. So there's no sealed space. And we leave those uh, bolt holes there to mount uh, other features. And we haven't done it yet. On the top, we can see the two reflector over there, lights over there to indicate the light in the evening. The side wall, the drop side, what we're using is uh, those type of the device to do the locking. And uh, at the side beam, we have this side, this type of the, this type of the hinge to do the job. When we are do the unloading, we can remove this to this position so it can open itself. When it can open itself, then the things can go off from here. That's how we are doing this job. The side hook here is uh, just a steel bar side hook, roof hook. It is not as strong as strong as uh, cast steel, but uh, it uh, is still useful when we need it. This is the protection for the drop side. So when the drop side drops off, this will protect. It hates the side beam to damage itself or damage the side beam. That's why we have the rubber coating here. And this one? When you need it to, to tilt to the left, you need to remove this uh, device to make it uh, released from uh, those locking device so the trailer can tilt to one side. And when you need to do the other side, you need to remove the opposite side of those type device. Now we are seeing the landing gear. The landing gear here we are seeing is uh, not a one side operation, but double side operation. The double side operation can be fixable for many different uh, type of the land. So when your land is not flat, so you can operate the other side and operate this side higher and lower, whatever you want. But this one is pretty weak because uh, our client is from domestic uh, market in China. Once they hook up the trailer to their tractor, they never separate it. So for them, those devices are useless. So they ask the cheap one before we ship it to them, and or they can get license from the Chinese authorizations. The kingpin here we are seeing is a 3.5 inch. 90 millimeter diameter. After the kingpin, we always leave a maintenance gap here for the mechanic to do the maintenance job easier. 
and uh, this is the hydraulic cylinder. We haven't installed it, the hoses yet, but this is just uh, to show you what it uh, looks like. You can see the structure of the trailer body and the frame. It's stronger than the other trailers because it's a dump trailer. So it uh, need to have a strong frame to suffer the payload. And those are the devices uh, for the braking line. We can we have it here. And uh, this gap we leave it for the water tank. In China, we put water tank to reserve the water and spread to the tire when the summer. Or even not in the summer if the braking drum are too hot. Or they are driving those in the mountain area. They're breaking it uh, quite frequently. They use those water tanks to spray the water by the pumps to those, uh, to those uh, wheels. This is uh, how it looks uh, of the toolbox inside. And this one is a spare tire carrier. We can see it from the outside. You will have a device to put inside and uh, put this at the bottom of the spare tire, then your spare tire can lift it up. This is how it looks uh, from the left side of the landing gear. And here you can see we leave all those uh, sides without any bracket, any reinforcement uh, bracket because uh, this trailer body will turn to the other side, so we cannot uh, block the way it is going to move. So here is the side protection. And uh, now we are in the tire area again. This is the pattern of the tire. It is uh, the following pattern because this axle is always following and uh, does not do the steering. So it does not do the axle accelerating. It's always following. That's why they use those type of uh, tire pattern. And this is uh, the side view of the rim and the axle. You can see the axle is uh, Fu Hua. And we haven't finished the installation yet. This is the suspension hanger. We do not uh, pen this one. And uh, now we are seeing those type of the mud reserve uh, cushions to prevent uh, your trailer is too dirty. To the back side, we can see a huge lag there. We will back to that later. Now let's see the view from the back side. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so the drop side of the so can drop from the top to the bottom. Here we put a flat uh, rear here. This is a uh, uh, rear bumper to prevent uh, the car accident and also to give the support to the drop side. And this is the license light. And uh, we put the two reflector those area and the triangle reflector and two huge square reflector and also the light below it. The other side is the same design so it can tilt to the left and right side. Now we put the hooks like this and this one so you can easier pull your legs in the left side or Pull your legs to the right side when, they, when you need it. Here is the operation gear of the hydraulic system. You can operation from the rear side because uh, the rear side is uh, safe and it's not in the left and it's not in the right but in the rear. So when you operate it, you will prevent uh, yourself from those dumping cargoes for your safety. Okay, let's go to the bottom of the trailer. The bottom of the trailer, <clears throat> you can see this one. We have a huge pen here, so you can move this uh, hydraulic cylinder to the left and right. It depends on 
uh, which side you are going to dump. This is uh, a hydraulic device which you can operate it inside. We haven't installed all the things yet. And now we can see the leaf spring over there and uh, automatic slide adjuster. It is a requirement for the China market right now. And camel shift to the braking drum and with a braking pad. And axle plate here, we're using our own brand axle. It's made in our axle factory. See, uh, this is the hook of the leaf spring to prevent the leaf spring fall off from the suspension hanger. This is the small device to prevent the leaf spring consume the boat very fast. And inside we can see the red nylon pipe is connecting the two double air chamber. Here are the two double air chamber. Yeah. And the braking line is uh, more complicated than the other trailers because it has ABS here. Those lines are the ABS line. It has a uh, connect with the sensor of the ring inside of the braking drum. Uh, we cannot see it from here. And then it gives to the signal to the monitor, to the monitor in the middle of the trailer body. So the monitor can adjust the two wheels to frequency and make sure you're driving safe trailer. This is a, a device you can use it or not, but easier for our worker to do the job. Here is the air reserve tank air reserve tank and that that is the equalizer and the equalizer boat okay i think that's uh, all from here let's get out it's not safe by those landing gears all right from here we can see the light and the light we're using is easy the plug in and plug out type is easier to do the job and here is the side light and the device we were seeing same as the, the other side you need to pull this pull this out like this and then put it inside and we fastened all those uh, by this to prevent uh, accident here we have the axles again and uh, the two box from uh, the outside, a very small side protection. All right, let's go to the top of the trailer. And I need to find a way to get top. Now we are on top and inside of this side dump trailer. You can see we are using the flat deck instead of the checked plate. The flat would give uh, less pressure, less force when you are dumping things. And also the bulkhead is the same idea. In the side you can see we leave uh, those uh, posts as uh, modification. If our client wants to modify to the top with the fence, they can do definitely by this design. And we have uh, those things in the top to fasten the drop side so the drop side can go double way can go this way or this way so it can flip to the bottom or flip to I mean let me change the thing the bottom the top side could uh, drop to the bottom and the bottom side could uh, chill for the dumping. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And if I made you confused, sorry about it. Okay, that's how it looks uh, from the inside. Let's get down. Down from the top, we can see the up structure, super structure here. You can see the post. We have a 600 millimeter post from the Side beam to the top is 600 millimeter. And let's to see 
let us see the hinge again. So if you want to dump and you want the bottom of the drop side to go like this way, like this way, you need to remove the pin here. And if you want the drop side to go top to go to the bottom like this way, you need to install those pin and open here. Open here. Then it will operate automatically. This is a safety. Safety to prevent uh, miss operation. A little bit complicated, but uh, very good design, in my opinion. Okay, I think that's all for today. And if you have any questions, please uh, send us an email or message or leave uh, comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, have a nice day. See you next time. Bye bye.